I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We took battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is Elimination Chamber. Yes, 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 Elimination Chamber going down this Saturday in Perth, Australia. Yes. That means this show is going to happen at like 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning. You hear me? This is going to be crazy. I'm not going to lie. But because it's on Peacock, you don't have to watch it at that time. You can watch it at whatever time you feel comfortable. Um, Let's get into it. There is no main event world title matches on this show. There is no Roman Reigns. No Seth Rollins wrestling. There is no Rock. There is no Gunther. Like, there's a lot of stars off of this show. There's a lot of stars off of this show. You feel me? Now, I said Seth Rollins is not wrestling, but they are going to do a Grayson Waller effect with Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and Grayson Waller, obviously. I don't know what that's leading to, but it has to lead to something. It has to lead to something. I still think we're getting Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus The Rock and Roman Reigns as a tag team match. Probably we get it after Mania, but I feel like we still need to get that match. When you talk about tag teams that's really on the caliber of The Rock and Roman Reigns, it's Cody Rhodes, probably Randy Orton. Um, I would like to see LA Knight in that spot. And Seth Rollins. There's not a lot of guys that I really want to see in the ring with The Rock and Roman Reigns. You feel me? It's not a lot. So if they can compare Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes as a tag team eventually, later on this year, this year for that match, maybe SummerSlam, I would be okay with that. I would definitely be okay with that. Um, I don't know what's going to come out this angle, but it's going to be an angle. Um, next, we have the Judgment Day versus Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. Now, I love Triple H, but this is one of the negative things about him taking over. I feel like he's kind of... Not ruin the Judgment Day, but the Judgment Day has become a comedy act. They've been a comedy act for the last three months. Ever since Survivor Series, they've been a complete comedy act. This whole thing where all truth was funny at the beginning is going on way too long. Way too long. And I still don't know what the end game is. I don't want all truth to be Judgment Day at WrestleMania for the tag titles. I'm probably weird saying that, but I don't want that to happen. I don't think that's a good thing. You feel me? So I feel like we just wasting our time doing this for months. What are we building up to? Also, the tag team division is dead. They've had the belts unified for like two years now. The tag team division is dead on Raw and SmackDown. It's completely dead. Completely dead. But I still got the Judgment Day winning. They should not drop the belts until possibly WrestleMania. Because Damian Priest still got the briefcase. And I think he's going to cash in successfully. So... He can't be the world champion and tag team champion. So I think that they're going to lose first before he cashes in. But I got the judgment they retain him. Next, we have a women's elimination chamber. I'm making this video before all the participants are announced. So far, we got Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Naomi, and Bianca Belair, and I think Tiffany Stratton. I got Becky Lynch winning. No, no doubts about it. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. They've been building that for like a year now, probably longer for WrestleMania. I think we're going to get that. Mommy versus the man. We're going to get that. Um, we got Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax. I could see this opening the show or either being in the middle, but this is not going to be the main event. Not going to be the main event whatsoever. I got Rhea Ripley retaining her title. No, no doubt. No doubt about it. Easily. Hands down. Time for the main event already. We have Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens versus LA Knight versus Randy Orton versus Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Winner versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Um, this is stacked. This is stacked. I'm not gonna lie. This is really, really stacked. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with a lot of people in this though. WrestleMania is a few weeks away. What are we doing with LA Knight? It seems like Kim and AJ Styles still has an issue, but is that a WrestleMania match? I don't know. Logan Paul and Kevin Owens still has an issue that can be resolved in this match, and they can't hold that out until WrestleMania. Will they? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, what is Randy Orton doing? They've been to my Randy Orton versus Solo. 
Randy Orton versus Solo is not a WrestleMania match to me. They've kind of ruined Randy Orton's return. Randy Orton returned and came back white hot. White hot when he came back. I feel like because they didn't want to beat him in that Roman Reigns match at the Royal Rumble, we got the Fatal 4-Way. That Fatal 4-Way did not live up to the hype. It did not live up to the hype. I ain't gonna lie. That Fatal 4-Way was a disappointment. So if we'd have got Roman Reigns versus Randy on one-on-one, then Randy on would have already been in something more eventful. He hasn't been in nothing eventful since his return. I don't know what's up with that. You feel me? But I would definitely have... Drew McIntyre win this match. There's reports that he still did not resign yet. I don't know if that's true, but I still would have Drew McIntyre win. That's the, even though we've seen that match a lot, we've seen uh, Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins a lot. That's still the best choice. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, they two baby faces. LA Knight and Russ Seth Rollins has no history. I would definitely go with Randy Orton, I mean Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins. And I fight Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton is going to be the final two. Another person, Bobby Lashley. He hasn't done nothing all year. Like, Triple H hasn't done a lot with a, pe- with a few people all year. Solo Sokoa hasn't done nothing with him. Austin Theory hasn't done nothing with him. Bronson Reed hasn't done nothing with him. Bobby Lashley. There's a few people he hasn't done nothing with in the last year. The last year, nothing with them. You feel me? But I'm looking forward to this um, Elimination Chamber card. I'm looking forward to the road to WrestleMania. Let's get it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.